was in like elementary school and the teacher asked if I wanted to do chorus art or band. So I did band. He tried to give me all kinds of instruments and I was like alto saxophone and he was like I didn't have any alto saxophone so it was like pretty much I waited like three years just to play the saxophone. And I sat in the band playing recorder until they had one available. So I just play something. <laughs> They didn't want to hear the saxophone, they didn't want to deal with it. And you know you go through those formative years where you just suck. So <laughs> they endured. <laughs> now they're pretty proud, you know, I mean, they see me on TV a lot and a lot of shows and stuff. And like, you know, here I'm traveling all the time, so they seem pretty excited. Well, it was pretty eclectic, I mean, but in terms of growing up, it's like you grew up in your little neighborhood, so it's like mostly merengue and salsa and like bachata kind of music I grew up playing. But later on, I branched out to other different styles. Oh my god, like James Brown, P Funk, Sly and the Family Stone, Maceo Parker, undeniably John Coltrane, Alice Coltrane, Freddie Hubbard, you know, the list goes on and on. <laughs> well, this is my upcoming CD is coming out in the fall. Oh, okay. my first album entitled Retox. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. I was doing the album, we recorded everything, it was locked, and then I decided I wanted to change some things. And then I went through like this major like injury, like I hurt myself, and like I felt like Kind of like my body was going this whole detox situation and everybody's like you're not detoxing because you're doing nothing but intaking and i was like yeah i was like maybe it's like a little retox so all the music got rewarped and revamped and like changed all the singers like everything just got me discovered all over again so <laughs> Washington Heights, New York, and I play alto saxophone. 